I hope you're all well. Welcome to my channel. This is where I talk about Twin Flame Process and these are the monthly videos by Sunsign for August 2023. If anybody wants to get a more detailed personal reading or do a session, you can contact me through my website and the link is in the description box below. Hope you all have a good month. See you in the next video. Bye. August 2023. What have we got for cancer? Okay, so I've got you um, that are holding onto the leash of a lion. So the lion is facing forward and you're behind the lion. Feels like some kind of restraint this month then. Restraint of the masculine energy. Um, let's see... Uh, I've got the Fool coming up, so I've got a brand new journey as well. The Fool is looking really like a jester, court jester. Uh, some kind of fun and games. There is um, something here. This is what, it's about you bringing the masculine energy under control, basically, that restraint. But it's like a fun game of bringing the masculine energy under control. So it doesn't feel like it's something um, negative. So bringing the masculine under control is bringing your triggers under control because masculine energy is warlike um, and it is sharp and it is quite feisty and it is um, powerful. Uh, it's also egoic and energetic in that way. So it's a lot going on in the mind, masculine energy. Um, but it feels like this um, fun game of bringing it under control is maybe you go to the edge of a trigger and then you pull back from the edge, almost like temptation, you know, like, are you going to let yourself go into the trigger? So when you go right into a twig trigger and something sets you off and you either get really angry, well, you can do one of many things, but just for example, one is get really angry and one is maybe get really sad, cry. So there's different ways. That's just two examples. We'll just mention those a bit when you go right into a trigger. I feel like this month is about something's going to, maybe not, not just one thing actually, a few things, many things I feel, going to trigger you, at least two. <laughs> so at least two triggers, they just said that. Um, and you're going to, see how far you want to go with it so you're going to have the ability to pull back and not become fully engaged with the trigger so it's kind of like a game because you could if you want go right into it and get really really angry or you could if you want go right into it and get and start to bawl your eyes out but it's um it's going to be um do you want to do that or not you'll see yourself clearly doing it so you're going to not know if you're you're going to have to make a decision basically, or maybe not even make a decision, but it's just a choice. The choice will be, do you want to see, view yourself getting triggered like that? Do you want to watch yourself getting really angry? Do you want to watch yourself crying again? Because you can if you want, but is, is that what really what you want? So that's the choice. It's not the choice of getting the triggered. It's the choice of, do you want to see yourself doing it? You're going to be looking at yourself, looking on at yourself. That's why they've got the person behind. And you know, when I was going to start, start talking about this, I didn't say this because I thought that's really weird and I don't know what that means. But they were showing me like a small child, like a boy holding the end of the leash and the lion in front. So it is in fact your masculine pulling your masculine back. Um, and it's like the inner child of, the, of yourself, your inner child masculine. So that's why they were showing me it that way, because it makes look strange, because I thought, well, that should be a woman. It should be the feminine drawing the masculine back. You know, but it's not. It's your masculine drawing your masculine back, which is why they're saying you're going to get to see yourself and say, look at me now. Look, oh, look, I'm getting triggered again. Am I, you know, should I, should I get even more angry or shall I stop now? Kind of like that. It's an adult. You're, you're going to grow up somehow. So that boy is going to turn into a man inside yourself it's like an adult masculine that's grounded and positive and simply bounded around yourself and your own ability to like go into whatever negative emotion that you that is available 
So you're going to have some control over that in the future. Yeah, two of swords, we've got a choice coming up. Right, and this is like they're saying, don't pretend you don't see it. See them, the eyes covered. They're just saying, don't pretend you don't see it, because you can see clearly when you're getting triggered, and you know you're getting angry. You can if you want. Do you want to? Is it going to benefit you in, at all? Is it going to do you any good? Does it feel better, really? Or wouldn't it feel better to just not bother getting angry and just let it go? Fear. All anger is fear. All anger is fear. All sadness is fear. All loss is fear. You know, all the negative emotions, they're all fear. They're all just saying it's not right. I haven't got what I want. I've never had what I wanted. It's all negative. It doesn't get you anything more than more negative. Only positivity gets you positive. So there's a big lesson coming. Sevens are lessons around you holding on to... Basically, you know when people say holding on to your vibration... And nobody really gets what that means. What that means is holding on to your positivity and not letting yourself get triggered into anger. Not once you can see that you're going down that road, basically. So that's holding on to your vibration. Your vibration of, of just not letting anything affect you one way or another. It doesn't mean you have to be like singing and dancing or singing and dancing and happy about whatever it is. It just means you don't go down the road of like beating up whatever it is you know, thrashing it around, trying to wrestle it to the ground, shouting at thin air, <laughs> as we do. Um, Ten of Swords ending in the mind, so it's ending around the ego. There's a death coming around that. It does feel like it's, um, uh, you know, I mean, they said two at least, but this is numerous deaths. There's, it takes so many for you to see what's going on, so it's going to have to be numerous. Because it's not go you don't see it on the first first run round, you know. You don't see it on the you don't it's like picking up litter, you don't see all the litter on the first run around. Some gets blown out of the bushes a bit later on and <laughs> and then it's uh, then you see it that later, you know. So some things are getting um coming up that uh for you to recognise what's going on, basically, and not lose yourself in your emotion negative emotions. Six of Wands, success in vibration. So it's whatever it is going on. This like seeing these triggers is going to bring you into a, into awareness of where your power lies, which is in your vibrational accuracy, which is the let go of anything that is not simply feeling comfortable and satisfied in the present moment. The only thing you need for a successful vibration is the energy of it's okay. Everything is fine. Don't worry about that. Right? That's You don't need to go any higher than that. I mean, you can go as high as you want. You can go dimensionally higher up into, like, you know, singing hallelujah with the angels, but, but um, feeling fine is absolutely enough. Okay. And then we've got Tower. Ending so huge shift point around this. Um, it's not going to be difficult. It doesn't feel like a difficult month. It just feels like a month of awareness and a month of you really taking charge of your ability to be in awareness and see what where you are at vibrationally by what mood you're in. Simple as that. Your emotional moods reflect where your vibration is at. This vibrational accuracy. This hanging on to your vibration is not something that's separate from your mind and your emotions. It's you you all you organize it, you lasso it, <laughs> you wrestle it to the ground, you corral it <laughs> through your mind and emotions being in stability. And therefore you're vibrationally accurate. There's a let go. When you think about your chakra system, right? So if you notice that, when you get angry, it all goes you get your stomach tightening up, you get a heartbeat rate raised, you get palpitations, you get might get hot flashes, you know, and it's all going on in your physical body. It's like a ping pong, it's like a pinball machine lighting up, but not in a good way. And then you can look at when you get really happy, right? And it's the same thing. You start to light up and you get ticks like you're you're being tickled in your tummy and you feel really like you're gonna laugh because it's making you laugh, right? Like when you were tickled, like when you were a kid you get that same feeling. So it's all going on in the physical body for you to become aware of it as well, they're saying. 
nine of swords ending the ending of all of that basically so the ending of what goes on in the mind or the you know the fear and the worry and the stress and the the deliberations deliberating on you know paying attention to what you don't like basically the ending of that because if something goes wrong i don't know what a pan over boils and the and the water goes on the floor and you know and then you get angry about it or you just moan and complain oh why did that have to happen that shouldn't happen it's the deliberation over the thing that happens that's the giving attention to the thing that happens so it's the removing the attention from it it's just silently cleaning it up like you have feel nothing about it it doesn't affect you in any way that's the end of it page of swords which is a message coming through and a lesson so it's a lesson around the mind this calming down is the essence of this month is about calming down basically and um to bring a message through you know when you can are calm and centered and grounded so is your twin when the end of the journey comes along and you're calm and centered and grounded and there's nothing more to do in relation to your vibration which is your mentality and your emotions and how you feel and what you think about when all that's done then you're ready for your reunion basically so that's what comes after this so it's all good there's nothing negative at all about what's going on it's all positive they say eight of cups love comes from love so you only get love arriving for you if if you feel love so what's it tantamount to love it, well anything that you can love you love and anything you don't love you just ignore so the pan boiling over you ignore it you know getting a stone in your shoe as you're walking along and it's like sticking in the bottom of your foot you ignore it or you take your shoe off and you let it out you know but if it's raining you just carry on and you don't take, pay any attention to it and you'll soon forget about it and you won't feel it anymore and what you can love you love and love comes from love so that's where you put your energy and your focus and that's where you, your vibration will be on the vibration of and it will be on love when your vibration is aligned with love love is what comes along vibrationally and twin flames are vibrationally connected so that's when your twin flame comes along when you're fully engaged in, in the um, the activity of loving whatever it is that you love from your wallpaper to your own smelly socks to the, like you know your neighbor's funny haircut it doesn't matter it's whatever you love the devil what you draw to you right so the choice is what you draw to you are you going to draw it from the shitty end of the stick or from the happy end of the stick you want it from the happy end of the stick so it's about letting go ignoring triggers what's triggering you and getting on with loving something in the opposite direction literally they're showing me someone holding the handle of a pan the pan is boiling over on the stove and someone's the person's looking in the completely the opposite direction <laughs> at something else going oh i love that wallpaper <laughs> you know it's like um forget about the pan love the wallpaper what have we got underneath and seven of pentacles which is fruition coming to into the physical from that so that's what I've got for you, Cancer. I'm going to leave it there. Have a good month. Lots of love. Bye.